Hi guys, this is Swedish Grinder from SwedishGrinder.com. Today I'm going to show you how to download and how to install Poker Tracker 4 and get it up running while playing poker. Go to PokerTracker.com. It looks like this. What you want to do is that you click on download. HUD or Poker Tracker isn't supported on all the poker sites, so make sure that you uh, have checked that it's supported on the site that you play. Uh, for me, I play in PokerStars. You can see here all the uh, sites that are supported. So for PokerStars, that's allowed and therefore I can use it. But make sure to check that before you download it and use it. Um, so with that said, uh, then you click on the download uh, link here. And depending on the machine you're running, if you're on a Windows, you click on download. However, if you're using a Mac or OS, um, then you click on the show Mac and you can download that for the Mac OS. However, for this tutorial, I am using in Windows, so I'm going back here and click download. Then you open up the file and you click on agree, install it where you want to install it and make sure that your poker client isn't running while installing and click on next and then run poker tracker 4 finish and it should load up all right so this is how it looks like when it's been loaded and uh, now it's already loaded that uh, previous version i have or yeah, but since I already have the program, I have already some hands here. So what you want to do is you click, go to the poker client you're using. For me, I'm using PokerStars. So double click on that. And then it's going to load a bit. So here for the site configuration, you want to click get hands from site while playing and make sure that the directory's configuration is correct. Uh, this is something that you need to set up in your poker client. So what we need to do is we need to go to PokerStars or your poker client. For me, it's PokerStars. So I'll just open that up and log in to your client. And for the poker stars client, it looks like this. And this is only applicable for the PokerStars client, but um, it's different for different clients. So you click on settings playing history, hand history, and make sure you tick the save my hand history so that it actually saves it. And then you have the location here where it's saved to. And uh, I usually keep the hand history for 9,999 days. You can just type in what, however, how many days you want. Um, and then click OK. And also you want to have it for the tournament. So click on this box for say my tournament summaries and also the path here and then click OK and so and then we go back to Poker Tracker and we click Auto Detect. Yes. And now it actually also found the tournaments and here for the cash games. And then you click on OK. And that's it. That's how it, now it should be set up. So when you want it to get running, you click on get hands while playing and this should then, if we open up a table, the HUD should then be disappear, disappear should be appearing. And uh, let's see if we click on play now, it should pop up soon. It usually takes one hand before it's shown. So here we go. Here we have it. The HUD is here. I'm going to sit out this hand and just fold. And so if you want to, you can have different uh, profiles. So you should select the one which you want to have. And here are the different stats, VP, IP, and pre for praise and so on. If you, for example, want to move this around, maybe you want to place them in a different place, you can hold down the control key and move it around like this. And when you're done, say that you want it for some reason here, this one, and then you click on this icon and unlock layout and then click on lock and save layout. However, I want it here. I think it was quite good. So I'm going to unlock the layout and then click lock and save layout. So now it will also always be saved like this in the same position that these boxes are appearing. 
Um, yeah, so that's about it. So yeah, then you have it basically running and when you want to review your hands and so on, you'll click on view stats in the poker tracker client. And then you can click on graph for cash games. You're marked with a dollar sign here. And you can see how you played and also review your hands. And for example, here I made like $5 playing No Limit 5. Uh, if you want to review the hands you played, you can just double click on the stakes and most recent hands or all hands. And then you can see, for example, how much you've been winning or how much you've been losing, which hands, the biggest hands you lost, the biggest hands you won and so on. If you want to review, you just double click on it and then replay hand. So yeah, then you can just review how you did played your hand and things you could have done better and so on. So it's a great tool uh, to use from my perspective at least, I think. Um, so yeah, that's about it, how you do it. And also if you want to change your HUD profile, uh, maybe you want some more stats or something, then what you do is you'll go here and select the profile you want. Maybe we'll take this cache default. So here you can see we have notes. Uh, you can make notes on the players by double clicking while playing like this. Um, and then you have VP, PFR um, and so on, free bet, pre flop, uh, see bet flop and so on. But what if you maybe want another stat? Then what you can do is you click on this plus sign and then add statistic. And then you maybe want to have, what about four bet? So you click search for four bet and then you can see four bet preflop, for example, I want this one. So you double click there and click OK. And now you can see you have the four bet preflop. You can actually also rearrange it. Maybe you want it to appear like below here in a separate one. So that will be showing that this one, for example. Um, you can also like add a prefix, for example, naming it to four bet. And then it will show four bet, which will be much easier to much easier to read than just having numbers. So it, you know that four bet is four betting this percentage of hands preflop. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you need any help or so. Um, and as I said, the link in this, the link to the poker tracker is in the description below. Um, yeah, so thank you all and good luck at the tables when you play.